I don't really like spraying poison on myself. But when you come to the dunes, I'm spraying this shit all over myself. I'm gonna dunk myself into it. <coughs> Probably one of my favorite golf courses in uh, Phoenix, right, right up there, ranked with uh, Papago. It's just a, it's a great design. It's a ball striker's paradise. I just love it. It's a great spot. And in the back is what we're looking at. Found just the the rough right there. It's not going to be too bad. It may jump just a smidge, so I'll count that into the situation. But realistically, I just want this about 152. Let it release. in general depends on where the pins at determines whether you can be real aggressive or not so I'll take that par we'll move on to the next hole so hole two right here looking straight out there normally the proper play is to hit it about 260 right there you got a little wedge in pretty much what I do every time in Q school there are some people though that try to fly it if it's downwind give it the big stick I'm not sure if I have that in the tank right now so I'm just gonna hit a two iron, get it down there somewhere. Right. Yeah, just dialed right there. Just dialed that one in nicely. This is what we're looking at. Looks like they got some tuck pins right now, so this should be a good little, good little vlog challenge. This is what we're looking at. 86 to the flag right there. I just want to throw it somewhere, maybe right behind it. And as you may have noticed on the first hole, got a new flatty in the bag. Inspired by old Ricky Fowler, threw the lead tape on there. I was like, you know what? I putt really well with this. I really like the way it looks. So I don't have to worry about too much of a line. Just look at the zebra. Look at the zebra. Look at the zebra. Got a super stroke grip on it too. So let's see how this does today. Zebra, zebra, zebra. That's really what I was thinking when I was putting that. May have found something. That was a solid roll. I'll take that. The second shot, if you're going for the green, it's such a demanding second shot. There's not many places to miss it. The only place you can really miss it is going to be right. And even if you do miss right, you're going to have a weird little pitch. So normally, Nine times out of ten, nine point five times out of ten, I'm laying this up to the yardage and then I'm gonna wedge it on. So I'm gonna probably do that here too. Alrighty, just like I said, a little layup. I had like 288 to the flag. I minus that. I had needed to hit like 177. I wanted hundred yards. 95 I'll take that. So I got pretty close. This is uh this is go range. This is fire at will. All systems go. Let's go. Go red team go. Despite that looking like it was easy, it was actually a really tricky pin. Let anything left of that that pin is going to fall down in the little gully there, so it's kind of playing against it. And then I didn't want it to break right, but anyway, par, no complaints. All right, number four here, great little par three. This pin is in the probably the hardest spot. 
probably in the hardest spot of all this green. You see in the back right up there. It's 168 to the flag. I'm looking just to hit that thing right in the middle of the green. Mm, I got this left hand action going again. I tell you what, it is a world of a difference when I remember the left hand controls the golf swing, the right hand's going on just for the ride. Just pure, just pure. That was a textbook right there. give that one a little bit of the anti-left treatment this is a number five is a sneaky little hole a very underrated hole in my opinion driving you really kind of it's not that difficult it doesn't seem like it's that difficult that's kind of a short hole but you can kind of get a little screwed on this hole if you hit one of these bunkers the the driving area is basically just in between all those bunkers that you saw out there and this with a little bit of a fade but I think I got a little lucky there and, and flew the first bunkers, kicked out to the right, and I'm gonna have a probably just a little wedge in. So a little lucky. Anything could happen off, off of that shot. So thankful. I love making putts. I tell you what, there's not much better of a feeling than seeing a good little birdie putt just trickle on in. Mm, zebra, baby. Par three is number six. It's maybe the hardest hole on the golf course, especially from the tee that I'm about to be playing. It's like a four iron, two iron. I don't think it's a two iron. Two iron goes too far. So I'm just going to take the four iron, rip it, try to hit it high and let it fade to the right. If I miss it right, so be it. Try to pitch it up and down. Oh, tournament time that ball there's not a chance it stops where it does and normally there's a little swell that will take it and I would have a much longer putt so I guess thankfully the greens are a little slower right now and uh, I'll take that three all day every day making a three on that hole almost feels like a birdie so par five I split the uprights with the two iron, almost got onto the green. Hit a nice little pitch shot up there, right below the hole where I wanted to. Got up to that putt. Thought it was maybe breaking left. I saw the grain pushing it left, and then I got over it, and I was like, man, this feels like it may go right. Yeah, I just didn't, didn't confidently stroke that putt, unfortunately to say, so. Have to settle with the par. A little disappointed on that, because I wanted to go a little, uh, I want to go deep on this, but it is what it is.
Well, I had the green light special there sitting in the middle of the fairway and didn't hit the best iron shot, but we walk away with the par. Number eight has given me a little bit of trouble in the past, so I'm, I'm not too disappointed about making par on that hole and just moving on forward. So number nine, depending on where this pin is, is a very uh, scorable hole. So if I can get a good ball off the tee, green light special, let's go. Let's finish this one strong. Oh, should have been the nine iron. That was a good swing though. That pisses me off. Nah, that's two times, two videos in a row, finished with short little missed putts for par on the last hole. First putt wasn't the easiest putt. It actually hit a lot better shot than I thought going into the green. And then I knew I would, if I missed that putt, it would roll out. And then I just should, I should have taken a double look on both sides, confirmed the read, and then made the putt. Instead, no, nope, let's just rush it. Let's pretend like I know what I'm doing here. Oh, man. <laughs> but anyways, like I always say, guys, I appreciate you guys getting this far in the video. I hope you guys like this video. Little vlog, this is where my Q school is. Front nine, Southern Dunes. Love this golf course. Absolutely love this golf course. If you've never played it before, highly, highly recommend it. It's a true facility. Top notch, one of their best, so. Southern Dunes, I'm coming for you. It was just a little, just a little taste of what I got for you. A lot more where that came from.